Hello YouTube! Uh, it is Booktubeathon, and I normally don't make videos for Booktubeathon because I'm not an actual Booktuber, I'm a blogger, but this year I wanted to try and do a little bit more with Booktubeathon than I normally do. Uh, last year I just read, which was great, but I wanted to participate in a few more of the challenges. So I can at least do this one because it happens before you actually have to start reading. Um, and this challenge was to do a video on your TBR, which mine is this. Um, it looks thin because the top three are pieces of paper that I have printed out to represent the books that I'm listening to on audiobook because I'm not advanced enough at video editing to make an image appear here on its own. Number one, read a book with yellow on the cover. So, Monstrous Regiment by Terry Pratchett is a book that I've actually wanted to read for a while. Uh, ever since I read Small Gods several years ago, I've wanted to read another Terry Pratchett. Uh, my boyfriend's a huge Terry Pratchett fan, so this is the one he recommended for me. I've been meaning to read it for like a year and a half, uh, and so I'm going to read it this time. The second challenge is to read a book only after sunset, and uh, to kind of keep in with the idea of it being a little bit spooky or scary, I'm going to read Market Ghost Stories which is another book I've wanted to read for a while. I do tours at the Pike Place Market, and uh, I got this a while back when I participated in the ghost tour um, as just someone going along with it. And it's a pretty short book, and all the stories are really short. There's like, they're like often two, three, maybe five pages. So I figure every night I can read a few ghost stories, and this will be the book that I only read after sunset. Number three, is a book you discovered through booktube um, which I'm gonna go with Landline by Rainbow Rowell which this is uh, something that my friend Christina uh, talked about on her channel I'll link that below to her channel not to the video because I don't remember the video where she talked about this but I put it on my list of books I wanted to read and so I thought this would be a great example of one that I could do uh, I think she might have actually done this read this during Booktubeathon one year. The next challenge was a book by one of your favorite authors, uh, and I'm going to read The Screwtape Letters by C.S. Lewis, because um, I really like C.S. Lewis. I actually haven't read that much of his, but the things that I've read I've really loved, so I'm going to read this. My memory is that it's like letters to or from the devil, from someone to the devil. The devil is one of the people writing a letter in this book, um, so I thought it was kind of weird. Uh, and I thought that'd be a great one. Fifth challenge is read a book that is older than you. Uh, so I'm going to read The Missing Piece by Shel Silverstein. Uh, this also could qualify as a book by a favorite author, and quite frankly, this is also a book that's older than me. I actually really love this book, so this is me rereading it for a millionth time. It's really short, um, and it's a lot of pictures, and they're fun, but it's a beautiful message. Number six in the challenges is to read and watch a book to movie adaptation. So, I Am Legend was already a book that I wanted to read because recently, I believe on the podcast Writing Excuses that I listened to, they talked about um, how this was just a really short, really good book, very different from the movie, um, but a very interesting read. And finally, read seven books. So it just so happened that I had put a hold on Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes, um, audiobook at the library, and my hold came up two days ago. So I've got this on my phone and I'm gonna listen to it during Booktubeathon. Because it's me, I made a spreadsheet. Um, I made one last year and I updated it for this year. Uh, I will put a link to a drive version in the comments. Uh, I really love making spreadsheets. And I really love spreadsheets that you change one thing and everything else changes. So this is a spreadsheet to essentially help me keep on track because I know that I can be kind of a slow reader. And if I don't have a really good idea of if I'm ahead or behind, I'm likely to be like, I read enough today, I'm sure I'm fine. And then find out on Saturday that I'm way behind. During the week, there's a tracker section where I'll put in which pages I've read so I can see whether or not I am ahead or behind. So this is my to be read pile. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more about booktube and my history with it and everything, I'm also writing a blog post about it, which I will link down in the comments. And hopefully maybe I will do some more of these videos for booktube this year and maybe some of the Instagram challenges. 
who knows? The world is my oyster. Uh, so everyone have a fun booktubeathon, and I will see you soon.